What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar and we are talking about Bitcoin. The goal of this video is to go over the short term price uh, expectations, price predictions, uh, what to expect over the coming days, maybe even the coming weeks, stuff like that. So if that sounds good to you, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I do make videos every single day about crypto, you guys, every single day, you know it. So if that sounds good to you, definitely subscribe to this channel, man. Uh, from a low to a high. I've been calling since this day, I believe it was since this day here, that day where we wicked above the 236, I've been calling for a move that would take us down to the 61869 zone. And I swear this has changed. I swear it used to be 57.9K and 56.9K, but now it's 57 and a half to 56 and a half. But you can go back and watch my videos from like these days, October 9th, October 8th, October 10th, probably that I swear the predictions were different, but, but 57 and a half, 56 and a half. That's the numbers I'm getting now. We didn't go down there. And I got to say this bounce off the 50, I wasn't expecting that it would promote any kind of significance, but I ignored my own rule, right? You don't normally find significance on the 50 on the 0.5. You don't normally, but when you find significance on it, you get significant results. That's kind of what I've established, what I've coined for the 0.5 over my time trading, right? It's again, it's not normally a significant area. You don't normally expect to stop here, especially when you find support on the 382, reject the 236. You almost always go to the 61869. But you, when you find significance on this area, expect significance. That's all I'm trying to say, right? And you did, you did find significance and you closed above your 236 two days in a row. And now you're progressing out of it, you guys. <laughs> you guys. I don't think Bitcoin's going down anymore. In fact, I think we are we are on the precipice right now. In fact, shout out to uh, shout out to Go Anders himself. He was literally, I think it was this day, man. It was. It was the tenth. You're saying you think it starts here? <laughs> it, it looks like it's starting, man. That was it. And of course, truthfully, it started back here. And then, of course, truthfully, it started way way back back here, and then back here, right? But this was our most kind of recent low right there, right? Our next higher low. And this is going to be potentially the low that breaks us out of this consolidation phase that we've been in since March. Crazy, man. Crazy. This is October. Okay. This is Bulltober. This is Uptober, whatever you want to call it. I know a lot of people have been dunking on it, been slamming on it, been talking crap about it. But the truth of the matter is, guys, the month is green. We're up 1% right now. Ho, ho, ho. Such a bullish October, right? It says right there, 1%. That's, that's such a bullish October. No, it's not. But it is the 14th of October. We do have a lot of time left in the month. And statistically speaking, out of the last two bull cycles of Octobers that we've had, the average October closed from open to close. I believe I did the math. I know I did the math, but I believe it was either 26 or 29% to the upside. We are likely, statistically speaking, on average over the last two bull cycle Octobers that we have measurements from open to close to close this month with a 20 to 30% gain, okay? Not from the price that, we, that we're at now, but from the open. So a 20% gain, just so you know, just so you're aware, 20% gain would put us at new all-time highs. And I do believe it was at 29%. I want to say that it was 29, but maybe it was 26. I don't know. But but this would be, again, this isn't where we're ending by the end of the year. This isn't the end of the cycle. This is the end of the month. We're on the 15th of this month. We're halfway done. So in like two weeks' time, new all-time highs, guys. New all-time highs. That was the expectation. That was what I made, the prediction I made in the very beginning of this month whenever I did, let's see, what video was it? Uh, ba -ba. Where, where was it? So many days ago. Bitcoin October analysis. When I did that, right? And it, it might not have made that much sense or it might, it might not have sounded correct <clears throat> in the weeks that followed that, that Bitcoin would close the month of October 20 to 30% in the green, that we'd be at new all-time highs, especially with the first two weeks going down. But you guys, that's how October rolls, right? October, let's go back to last October. Okay, 2023. Here we are, 2023 right here. October started here, okay? First day was a pump. Next day, we topped off, moved sideways, and then we dumped going into the middle of it, right? We are actually in a red month. Pretty significant dump right there in October. In the second half, what do we do? We pumped. We pumped hard in the second half. Maybe that was just one year. Let's go back. Let's see. And, you know, this was during a bull market, and this was 
post having. Or wait, no. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> this is pre having. Sorry, not post having. Ignore that. This was an October that we had in a bear market. Still bullish. It did close. The second half of it did move up. But I don't want to focus on bear market Octobers. I want to focus on bull market Octobers, right? So here's a bull market October. All right, October, right here, beginning of it. Actually, really the whole month, kind of an invalid, invalid to my point because the whole month was pretty damn bullish. So, so that one's not really valid. Um, I, or I, maybe it's overly valid. I don't, I don't know what to, what to make out of that. But if we go back to October again, let's just see. We keep going. I said I wasn't going to do long-term analysis, but here we are. October here, the first half, not not quite the first half, really just the first week was boring. And then the second half is what really took off again during the bull market. And this was post-having October. That was a post-having October there. Um, we go to 2019, 2019 here, October, kind of a weird month, right? Just moved sideways the whole month, moved down. But then at the very end, October it was, it did, it did have a phenomenal pump at the end of the month. Second half of the month is where that pump came in. We keep going back. We go to 2018. Actually, 2018 was a bear market, so we're going to ignore that one. But let's go to 2017. The reason why I'm ignoring the bear market, you guys, is because we're in a bull market, okay? All of the bearish Octobers that have ever existed, all of the Octobers in Bitcoin's history that have been red have only happened in bear markets. We have not had a red October in a bull market, just so you know. Okay? That's why they call it October, man. Uh, October here. I don't know about you guys, but I mean, actually, that, that whole month looks pretty bullish. Kind of boring first week, second week pumped, third week kind of boring, and then you finish off the month with a nice, like, breakout into November moving up there. I don't know. I'm not going to keep going back. I don't want to bore you guys and show you just, like, every single October that there, that there is, but I think I made the point, right? I think it's I think it's been validated that, that it would make sense that not only October closes green, but that we're about to see the most exciting part of October, historically speaking, especially when it comes to a bull market scenario, right? I genuinely believe you guys. And if you don't believe me, I, I urge you to go watch that uh, Bitcoin. I'll, I'll put this video, I'll copy the link right now so I don't forget. I'll just get the shareable link. I'll put it, I'll put that link in the description to this video if you want to watch it. And, and you can go over more stuff based on October there, right? If, if you really want to, I'm not, I'm not going to go over it here. Um, but really what I was trying to go over before I got distracted and all these longer term things that I didn't plan on doing, what I was really trying to focus on, the main focus of this video is the fact that we held the 0.5. We've closed above the 236 now for two days in a row. And we're seeing this movement right now. Absolutely. I believe we are no longer going down to this area. <clears throat> Absolutely. I don't believe we're going down there. And I did say, I want to say in the videos that I, that I made, I was pr predicting it'd be closer to 58K. So, I mean, we went down to 58.9. I was off by a little bit, but whatever. Held support at the 0.5, not a normal area to hold support. You didn't hold support here at all on any of these prices. I guess right there you did, right there. But whatever, it's a weird area. We're still below this high, right? And it definitely is, I think, the perfect time to to flip-flop, I guess, for, for lack of a better word. It's a perfect time to change to change the, the predicted outcome for this thing, man. I do believe that we're going to move up. I think that... From here on out, you guys, for the rest of this month, for the rest of this year, things are going to be very exciting. And if you guys have any loved ones, if you have any friends, if you have any people that you care about, who you work with, whatever, that you're trying to get involved in crypto, you're trying to get them to buy it and they're just being lazy or stubborn or they just don't think it's cool enough, but eh, maybe they kind of want to put it in there. You need to get on their asses about it now, man, because this is this window is not going to be open for long. And I know, I've been saying that for months. <laughs> I know, I know I have been. Uh, I promise you, in three days' time, three weeks' time, when we're at new all-time highs, okay? It, like by the end of this month when we're at new all-time highs, I promise you I'm not going to be like, oh, oh, I called it. I told you guys we were going to break out soon and we broke out. Because I've been saying we were going to break out soon for a while, okay? Okay? But it's real. It's real this time. It was real all the other times. Like this is a very small amount of time that we have to accumulate. But right now, the window is literally this freaking thick, man. You can't slide through it. You can slide me your debit card. You can slide the exchange your debit card, buy some cryptos, that's it. But that window is going to close. And when it does, you're not going to be able to buy at these prices anymore. And, and you're going to settle for nothing less than like $100,000, man. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I think I made the point. From a low to a high, based off of this fib alone, 
what it's telling me is that we are about to move up. When we take out this high, what we do essentially then is we break this downtrend that we have here, right? We break it, this, this downtrend that we've been in since March. When we break that trend, well, anyone who's been a part of any Bitcoin bull cycle ever knows what's coming. That's, that's all I got to say. So if you guys like the content, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Things are going to get ballistic, you guys. I, I, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for every person who's holding crypto. I'm excited for everybody who's been holding, who's been buying more, who I'm excited the most for the people who are discouraged or who have been discouraged. You guys, I get it. It can be, it can be trying. It can be a very trying thing, especially when you buy and you expect it to move up the next day and then it takes months. But you guys, it'll all be worth it. It'll all be worth it by the end of this year. And I think I think it'll start to seem like it's worth it by the end of this month, genuinely. I very much do expect that over the coming weeks, it's gonna look like that, man. It's gonna it's it's gonna be it's gonna be like this, but more so. That's my thoughts. Anyways, take care guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.